Legendary memes, where are they today? By Sunny V2. Memes have pretty much been a part of the internet's culture since the inception of the internet. And I guess this man Sunny V2 has done his research and has figured out the whereabouts or at least the goings on of people from legendary memes. So we're here to check that out today. Make sure y'all check out the lies of P walkthrough I got going on, baby. We should finish that walkthrough next week. And yeah, sure, I love the video, like, share, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get it. The people in these 10 classic memes look completely different to when they first went <laughs> Hey, you got the story not, dude. Side Eye Chloe, which came from a Side Eye Chloe, okay. titled Lily's Disneyland Surprise. In the video, oh. the parents tell their two kids, Lily and Chloe, that they're ditching school to instead go to Disneyland. Chloe, we're going to Disneyland! <laughs> <laughs> Why was she looking like that? Shared to Tumblr, where it received over 2 million notes with the title, I just love this because Chloe is like, the hell is this girl crying? Yeah, so like, why is she crying? Hey, we gotta go to Disneyland. Side Eye and Chloe is officially the patron saint of Tumblr, in which they'd show huh? that the meme had expanded and was now being put over everything from out. <laughs> oh my god. To figures. What Around the hell? Years after the meme first blew up, Chloe visited the Brazil oh, right office where her face had been turned into an elevator and was oh, being wow. used around the city for advertising. So we'd just drive around and there was my child on a billboard. I was just. Away. Did the family get paid? Chloe after the hype died. I didn't give y'all permission to use my child. During the meme at the age of two, Chloe's mother continued to video her life up until the age of 10. Okay. At which point the family decided to sell the meme as an NFT, achieving a price wow. of 74000 US dollars. They plan on using the money to put their kids through college. <laughs> she made another one. Isn't a bad idea given a remake. Her sister are now both in their teens, as is okay. Dennis Colin, also known as the okay. Popeye's kid. The meme began with an extremely basic vine back in August 2003. Uh, uh -huh. Where the real Snoopy videoed a I remember this one. Popeyes who was waiting to refill. That's not even Terrio. That's funny as hell. Say ooh. Say ooh. <laughs> The following day, the image made its way over to Twitter with the caption, when I see my teacher at a store, oh, with the subsequent popularity of the meme, giving the kid social anxiety throughout his early teens. Oh. However, this would motivate him to increase his skills as a football player. Okay. A post on Twitter roughly nine years after first going viral. Hey, won a state championship. To state champion. The post was then reshared to Dennis' Instagram. Nine years. How old is he right there? I want to repost this and tag at Popeyes. I just want to talk business. Ah. Which was followed by another post only three days later. And now oh, by the company. That's fire. The Super Bowl commercial where he'd announce his own celebrity meal deal called the Eyes on the Fries or Pies. I don't remember Pies, seeing this. Him winning Breakthrough Athlete of the Year at his Lake Erie College just a few months Look ago. Look at him. Although, while Dennis' story started low and ended triumphantly. Okay. Reseda's story started triumphantly but ended in tragedy. What is the laughing dude? Tragedy. In June 2007, when El Reseda's translating to The Giggles was interviewed on a Spanish TV show where he's actually quite possibly the most contagious laugh in human history. <laughs> i never seen the full clip. I've only seen like three seconds. <laughs> Yeah, like right there. Within only five days of the original <laughs> what interview, the, the clip had made its way 19 to mil. However, in September well, that 2020, El Reseda was hospitalized as a result of diabetes oh. where he had to have his left leg amputated. Dang. In response to the unfortunate situation, a French video forum raised 14,000 euros for El Reseda, allowing okay. him to purchase an electric scooter and wheelchair. Yeah. So within only six months, he was back in the hospital. El Reseda oh. passed away on the 28th of April 2021 from complications related to his illness. Rest in peace, I received this. That will likely live forever, as will Bad Luck Brian's, whether he lost. I've heard of Bad Luck Brian. Yep. The person in the photo's real name is Kyle Craven, who Kyle Craven. purchased a cheap thrift shop outfit so he could take a terrible yearbook photo. <laughs> his friend then downloaded the photo, added the caption, takes driving test, gets first DUI. Yeah. Posted it to the Advice Animal subreddit on the 24th of January, 2012. And it blew up. Bad Luck Brian. The meme was then remade with a different Different caption reading Falls wet dream class, not in class, class. oh no established purpose <laughs> causing the meme to go viral ask siri to tell a joke she turns on front camera damn Stops, drops and rolls into another fire wow Let's get divorced no one wants custody the virality of bad luck brian that's messed up recreate the meme at vidcon hey my boy zande chocolate rain Rogan, which turned into advertising opportunities with mcdonald's car insurance and volkswagen look at shack brian then featured in a book on t-shirts and over 
20 different games, mm -hmm. which according to an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald, made him between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars in the three years after okay. first going viral. Yeah, bro, my boy off royalties, right? Explained that Brian works as a project manager for his father's construction company. Where oh. According to his LinkedIn, he recently became the vice president after hey. his experience. Brian okay. Has gotten married and had two kids. Although, as shown by this photo, they might not be a fan of the meme. Wow. Despite this, Brian recreated the photo for his thirty-second birthday. Although, can you <laughs> even talk about bad luck, Brian, without mentioning scumbag Steve, the guy in the photo? Oh. The image to his MySpace back. I've seen his before too. However, it wouldn't be until the twenty-first of January, twenty eleven, when the photo was reposted to r slash funny with eleven different <laughs> captions representing him. Well, look, I buy the beer in case of Natty Light. Ain't no Natty Light. Had in their school. I've never seen a meme I could relate to more. I knew so many kids like this in high school, and unfortunately hung out with a lot of them for a while. Damn. In high school phase. This one is on the money. Only <laughs> made funnier when the real person in the picture came forward as twenty-two-year-old Blake Boston, who was with the same hat to fight anybody who talked about the meme. The Damn. You want to fight people? A thousand times funnier. <laughs> Steve then took advantage of the fame by launching his own rap career, starting a series. The Scumbag Steve album. And attending RuffleCon 2012, where he gained favor from the public after eventually. Did the videos go viral? This not like the kind of thing that would go viral back then. Popularity had well and truly faded. Oh damn. Scumbag Steve fell back into obscurity. Uh. That would be until April 2021, when Know Your Meme aired an update on his life. My name is Blake Boston, aka Scumbag Steve. Okay. He showed that he still had the hat while explaining that he was engaged, <laughs> had two kids, and was trying to start a band. That okay. very same month, Scumbag Steve sold the meme as an Ooh. NFT for 57,000 US dollars. Yeah. Uh, good money. Twitter reading, whoever this is, thank you. You have no idea what this meant to me and my two boys. I'm humbled and so grateful. 57k. To turn scumbag Steve into good guy Greg, who's a good guy Greg. Mystery more than 12 years later. Oh wow. Good guy Greg has been described as the antithesis. Hey, he's back scumbag to Steve. The <laughs> captions generally depict the character as kind, generous, or empathetic. To I don't think I've seen this one. Having blown Funny enough. Or if I've scumbag seen it, I don't remember it. This image here. Sleeps, Sleeps on your couch, couch makes breakfast. breakfast. Hey. So despite the meme's instant popularity. The person in the picture never came forward to claim that it was them until around oh, wow. three months later when the following post was made to the Ask Me Anything subreddit. I passed the six week challenge and crewed alongside good guy Greg. Oh. I'm a commercial fisherman AMA attaching five supposed photos of the man who looked nothing like good guy Greg. Am I the eh? one who can't see the resemblance to GGG? You sure? Other commenters to dig a little deeper. How did. Oh. I mean, it's blur right there. That could be him. He just got different hair. Five supposed that could be him. A man who looked nothing like. I don't know. Greg. Maybe not. I don't Am know. Am I the only one who can't see the resemblance to GGG? GG Triple G. Commenters to dig a little deeper. How did you come to find out he was Good Guy Greg? We showed him a picture of Good Guy Greg, and he said that it was him. We didn't tell him that his picture was famous. Oh wow. Did GGG wonder why you had a picture of him? Not really. Not really. <laughs> what really? What the hell? So this random dude hops onto the same boat as him, and just happens to have a picture of him from who knows how long ago, and he's just yeah, that's me, and doesn't take a second. To wonder I never why. be like, why you got a picture of me, fam? A user claimed to know the real identity of the real good guy Greg before posting this photo, which, while looking extremely similar, that could also be him. Difference in eye color. The person in the picture. Oh, like okay, yeah, want to be okay. From a photo of him, smoking. his eyes were blue. Yeah, I guess this comment puts forward a much more beautiful theory. He didn't come forward because he's a good guy who isn't interested in fame. <laughs> he's humble and happy, knowing that his picture. So he's really a good guy, guy Greg, enjoy, and he's satisfied <laughs> with that. He doesn't need the credit or the attention. All right. It's hard to give an update on someone who's practically a ghost. Hey. The overly attached girlfriend. Oh my gosh, I remember this meme. We've all seen this one. on YouTube talking about the downsides of becoming a meme. Damn. The overly attached girlfriend came from a video titled JB Fan okay. Video, in which a YouTuber she named really got Morris subs out here. parodied Justin Bieber's song Boyfriend with lyrics depicting her as the stereotypical clingy girlfriend. Although as the meme began to go viral, it took only a long this relationship <laughs> mentioned that she was uncomfortable with having her face everywhere. I'm always amused by the overly attached GF tweets. Then I realize my face is associated with it and I'm slightly disturbed. I don't, did she make her YouTube channel? No, cause she already had the YouTube channel before. Huh? That don't really make no sense. If you make a YouTube channel hoping to get big one day, how's it disturbing to you that you see your face everywhere? That should, that's like marketing. That's literally just marketing. That's free promotion. Your face is everywhere. Everybody gonna wonder where it came from. Some people might look deeper into it and figure it out and find your channel. I, 
like as if you weren't trying to be a YouTuber and this happened to you, but if you're trying to be, a, I don't know, that don't make no sense. If you're trying to build an online persona for yourself and then your face goes viral, but it's like disturbing to see. I, that don't make no, I don't know. Yeah, still awesome. I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd love it. Let my face go viral in a meme. I'll make it. Stardom with every video on her channel. Turn me into good guy, Greg. Views each, although <laughs> his fame wouldn't last forever. The meme slowly lost its relevance and by 2015, oh, damn. three years later, Lena was barely gaining 100,000 views per video. Hey, this she's getting good views. Lena had completely I'll take that. her channel, prompting an upload titled Breaking Up With YouTube, in which she'd explain how fame had taken a toll on her mental health. Damn, bro, that's crazy how you could start a YouTube channel getting the views that you get and you see your views going up and up and up and up and eventually you can get such a crazy high amount of views that if you start getting less than that even though it's still a good amount of views like 50 60 70 thousand 100 thousand it's still great views i take that shoot but you know if you go down to getting that from previously getting you know millions of views every video i can see how it would be like damn man this kind of sucks man that's still good views i don't care about none of that bro I sort of landed myself. That's a lot of people. Depression and I oh, she went depressed. Real deep secret. For this reason, she'd then state that she was quitting YouTube for good. I know that this part of my life is. I Man, she did it for over ten years. To say goodbye. Eventually, yeah. In April 2021, that she was selling her meme as an NFT. Okay. She managed to achieve a mind-blowing price. Four hundred eleven thousand. Damn. She gave her live reaction on Twitter by stating, "What BRB? I need a minute. WTF?" Bro, Do all these no memes. Is going to change People my life. I mean, was able to I'm sell so they mean was NFTs and get bread. Still just blown away. So weird, so cool. WTF? Thank you, internet. That's fire. She could still never be as. Oh, this is the, the stuttering little kid. Had a dream kid. The yeah. From a 1999 the, when, when you uh, when you when you <laughs> to recount this quote from Hercules. Haven't you ever had a dream? Something you wanted so bad you'd do anything. Instead, yeah. Completely fumbling his words. Have you ever had a dream that? That you um you had you 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 want you want him to do so much you could do anything. In June 2011, hey. approximately 12 years after the show aired, the 81 million views, having racked up over 80 million views since it was first posted. Goodness. Although still nobody knew the name of the child. That would be until the 8th of July 2021, when Wavy oh. Websurf posted this video, prompting a message from a fan who told Wavy, "Hey man, I know who the kid is from. Have you ever had?" a dream went to high school with him i'll give you his name so you can go check him out for yourself okay you probably won't want to be out there like that but thought it was cool you were looking and thought i'd give you the answer you were searching for before attaching a facebook profile oh damn named okay just give, him, just give him his whole ass name huh? his profile picture oh wow After confirming that it was in fact him the two recorded an interview where joe explained okay he was now working in the corporate world with the wavy web mm. surf interview then leading to a buzzfeed video which has since received almost 10 million <laughs> that's fire so it still looks pretty similar to how he looked as a child. Yeah. However, the kazoo kid looks. Oh, that's a hanging on one. Recognizable. The origins kazoo kid. of this meme are actually very similar to that. I've, I've never seen this meme. Both include a five-year-old child landing a role on a VHS TV show, only to achieve random success on YouTube many years. Where's the I play Pokemon Go kid at? <laughs> Where he at? You on kazoo? I know he's not necessarily a meme. The song is a meme. Years prior in 1989, people began to wonder where the kid ended up. Oh damn. His name listed in the credits, Brett Ambler. People were able to track down his Twitter and see. And he literally has the kazoo. Thirties. He looked like a totally different person. With his I mean, yeah. found accidental fame, Brett announced that he'd be hosting an ask. Well, he looked like a pretty regular guy, though. Asked, "What profession do you have now? Are you an actor or musician?" Responding with, "I'm lucky enough to say that I'm still an actor and musician." Hey. Which can be confirmed on his YouTube channel. Still playing that kazoo. Appears in almost every video. But while the kazoo kid continues to. Sonny V2, why you be using this for boating music? And ten kids Come on, man. So quiet. People thought he became a missing person. Oh. So the legendary Vine was posted back in June. It was 9 plus 10. I know the answer. was published to the website Hustlers titled 9 plus 10 equals 21 kid Vine has reported. The oh. And currently being searched for read goodbye note here. So what I was about to say real quick, I was about to crack a joke. Damn. You might have messed up the, the mode of my joke, bro. I, what I was going to say is if someone ever asks you what 9 plus 10 is and you respond with 19, you deserve to be. I, I was going to say crucified. Maybe not that far. You deserve to be, you know, maybe slapped in the back of the head a couple of times. So something. You deserve something. How dare you answer? And on 19, 9 plus 10 will forever be 21. Forever. I will, I, I will get it wrong on purpose for the sake of the meme. God damn it. But yeah, this kid ran away. Damn.
Uh, which stated the child whose real name is Habib Six Habib ran this. away from his home Saturday night and is currently being searched for throughout the whole Baltimore area. Okay. Authorities say the child left a goodbye note in his bedroom that read, I'm tired, tired of everyone laughing, laughing at me. me. I'm running away forever now. If you want to find me, the only clue I'm leaving is 21. That's not real. No way. GN forums. Users showed concern. The only clue I'm leaving is 21. However, quickly debunked when the original Viner uploaded right. a video captioned, My little bro is all good. Yeah. yeah that story has no light. That was Stupid. Way, his name is Xavier. That was a giveaway. Given his first name, there's almost no other information about him anyway. The only clue I'm leaving is 21. His online appearance was in December 2014 when he okay. create the meme. You stupid. Why not? No, but son. 21. Although since then, the kid has completely <laughs> vanished. Yeah. His brother who uploaded the original Vine continues to post gym videos oh, on again. TikTok and YouTube. However, his last name isn't public, so we can't figure out Xavier's full name. Okay. Nine plus 10 kid Iceberg, one of the bottom tier states, there was a rumor going around that the kid signed up for the Area 51 raid back in 2019. Or the there's hell? no source on the post or on Google. Given the vine is more than 10 years old, Xavier is now presumably in his late teens or early 20s. Although right. Given he didn't really care about his fame in the first place. Hi, right, bro. You know you famous, bro? Yeah. You got like 200,000 huh. revines, bro. He's likely he more than that now. Choice to keep his identity hidden. He's a regular dude now. All right, all right. That was an interesting video as always, man. With Sunny V2, man. Some of the mean people, you know, they still out here in these streets, just you know, doing whatever they do. Some of them made a whole bunch of money off of it. Imagine a meme getting made of you that you ain't even have to do nothing for. You just sat there and waited, and then you were able to make an NFT of your meme and sell it for hundreds of thousands of dollars, baby. Ooh. Ooh, that's fire. That's fire. Shout out to them. And yeah, whoever made that joke about the nine plus uh, 10 kid running away because you tired of everybody making fun of him. And you know what I'm saying? The only clue I'm leaving is 21. What? Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> that's going to do it for this reaction, man. Hey, hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all leave reaction suggestions down below. Check out that Liza P walkthrough. Like I said, it'll be finished next week. Whole playlist is on the channel. Show a lot of love to the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Till next time we up out of this thing. It's your boy Dara. We signing out. Peace.